scientists develop device to detect bacterial in limits, not they, Washington, United States the air of doctors prescribing patients powerful antibiotics while they wait for lab reports to soon be numbered, with a new device returning results within minutes instead of days. It was invented by a team at Penn State University and described in a paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences on Monday. Co-developed by Kaskin Wong, a professor of biomedical engineering and mechanical engineering, the device uses microtechnology to track single bacteria cells that can then be viewed under an electron microscope. The approach allows clinicians to determine in as little as 30 minutes whether bacteria is present and its susceptibility to drug treatment as opposed to the 3 to 5 days that last work currently takes. We currently prescribe antibiotics even when there is no bacteria present, Wong told AFP. That is, over-prescription. That is one of things we try to express. Can we quickly determine the existence of bacterial infections? The researcher's paper said that in addition to being able to detect whether bacteria is present, the device can begin to classify the type by determining whether the cells are spherical, rod-shaped, or spiral. This device determines existence but not what type of bacteria it is, said Wong. What? We're working on is a complementary molecular approach such that we can ID the species. And after finding bacteria is present, the sample is exposed to antibiotics to determine whether the strain is resistant, in which case antibiotic intervention would prove ineffective. Urinary tract infections are the most common bacterial infections, said Wong. However, over 75% of urine specimens sent to a clinical microbiology laboratory are negative. Rapidly ruling out or confirming the presence of bacteria at a clinically relevant concentration will dramatically enhance patient care. He added that the team has applied for a provisional patent and could bring their device, which they hope to scale down in size so that it can be used in hospitals and doctors' offices, to market in three years' time. Slash, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.